Are you building a new product and drowning in competitor research? Well, watch how to automate market tool analysis in seconds with NA10 and AI. Hi everyone, this is Dheeraj and if you're building a product, whether it's a social media content tool, a SaaS app or anything in between, your first step is always competitive research. But let's face it, manually googling every competitor, scouring the feature lists and compiling notes is a total time sink. In today's quick tutorial, I'll walk you through how to build a research agent inside NA10 that reads your list of competitor names or tools you want to research from a Google Sheet. It then sends each name to an AI agent powered by the Perplexity API. It fetches deep dive feature summaries automatically and then finally writes the results back to your sheet so you can instantly compare and plan your next move. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully automated research pipeline up and running in N810, saving you hours of grunt work. Let's dive in. Let me start off by giving you a bit of a background. So I'm deciding to build a tool which will help users create content for social media, in particular for Twitter. And this app is essentially a content creation app. Now, in order to do so, I must first carry out a market research on what are the existing tools. So I have a, a Google Sheet where I've listed down the names of three already existing tools that are used by social media agencies. And let's see how we can build an N810 workflow that can automate the task of researching these tools and finding out all the different features. So let's start off with a blank uh, workspace. I'm going to call this tool researcher and let's start off by triggering this manually. Uh, I will then look at adding a Google Sheet and within the Google Sheets there are different actions that can be done. What I'm interested in is getting all the rows from a particular sheet. I already have my credentials over here but you can create your new credentials and it's pretty simple. You can look at uh, the documentation on how to do that. So I'm going to select my credentials for my Google Sheets account and I'm going to now choose which workbook that I'm looking at. I'm looking at social media tools, which is this one. And within this, I'm looking at the sheet called tools. As you can see here, the sheet is called tools. The next one is called findings. So I've got tools and I'm going to extract everything from here. Let's just save this and run it to see if this is working. And great. So I've got three items that have been returned over here and I can inspect these. So we've got the names of the three tools. Great. The next step is going to be adding an AI agent and this AI agent will be looking at all these tool names. So I'm going to, instead of using connected chat trigger node as the source for the prompt, I'm going to define it below and I'll say we've got a tool name and this tool name is coming from here and all three uh, different tools will be passed on over here. The next thing that I want to do is add a system prompt over here and I'm going to say uh, let's say you are a research assistant and your job is to carry out a deep research on the tools that are provided to you in tool underscore name. Please use the perplexity tool to carry out your research. Also remember that these tools are tools that are used for carrying out content creation and other social media related stuff. Maybe something like this. So I'm saying you're a research agent and your job is to carry out a deep research on the tools that are provided to you in tool underscore name. I'm just putting these in back ticks. Please use the perplexity tool to carry out your research. Also remember that these tools are tools. These tools are used for carrying out. Um, what are these used for? Let's see. Social media management, content creation analytics and reporting. These tools are used by social media agencies. That's it. Let's just leave it at that. 
and yeah that's pretty much it now the most important thing we need to give a brain to our ai agent uh, and these are all the different uh, models that are available i'm just going to stick with open ai you could use any one of those uh, these different models open router is a brilliant thing really uh, so uh, let me just quickly show you what open router is uh, open router is a unified interface for llm so you just need one api key and through that api key you, you can connect to all these different models okay so open router is really nice and gives you the flexibility of you know interacting with so many different models so if i was to use open router over here uh, of course you'll have to provide your api key when creating the credentials but you you have all these different models that are available so it's it's quite powerful and you know if you are in the phase where you're kind of looking at figuring out which model performs well you can always use open router to uh, play around with different models and see however i'm going to stick with open ai and let's just quickly add that this is okay 4.1 mini is fine and i'm just going to use my credentials here and then moving on uh, the tool that i want to use here which is very important is perplexity uh, so let's look at perplexity tool and over here again you need to specify your api key and you can get that if you go to perplexity.ai and go to your account uh, you will see all settings and you will see your api keys over here you can create a new key and uh, i'll be deleting these in any case so that's perplexity uh, you can also look at uh, perplexity i think documentation that's uh, Perplexity Docs. Oh, where's that? Okay. So this is uh, where we have, you know, the API reference and uh, all the different models. So if we go back here, you know, we're looking at uh, using a particular model. And if we look at all the different models that are available, we want to carry out a deep research. So we will be using the sonar deep research model so if we just go here we can see that that's available and we could specify that you know these are uh, tools that are being used for social media or we could just look at defining this uh, parameter by ai itself so it'll look at what it is and it'll figure out what what to do there are a lot of other options uh, available for example top k top p i'm not going to go through all of these but if you look at uh, the api reference you'll see that all these are mentioned here so for example temperature is you know uh, how much of randomness you want in the response the maximum number of completion tokens required by the api top p is the nucleus sampling threshold and so on so it's all very well explained over here and you can go through this but for the time being we're just going to stick to what comes by default we're just specifying that you know let the model decide what the input should be and that's pretty much it so i'm going to now run this uh, and then we'll see if we really want to use a structured output or not for the timing i'll just leave it uh, over here and once we get the results we are then going to uh, you know send these results to the google sheet and um, have it populate either this sheet or maybe we can add it right over here so i'm going to pause the video here i'll let this run and once this uh, flow is over, that's when I'm going to be back. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and it seems the agent has successfully processed all our three uh, tools and we can see that it's uh, found out what these uh, tools are, what the features are and I guess we can now move on to adding these to our Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do is uh, since this, this is just an output that's coming out over here, we could uh, probably just go here and add another column here called, let's say, features. And we'll just kind of add it here. No need to uh, add a new sheet. So let's see uh, how we can do that. So I'm going to go and look for another sheet. And now I'm going to just uh, append or update row in sheet the sheet that i'm looking for is within the social media tools and 
this is the tool sheet and we will just be looking at mapping the output to the features that's pretty much it let's just execute this and okay column to match on okay let's just go with uh, the tool name okay let's just execute this and see all right so that's taken care of and we can see right here that now we have all our different uh, tools what do they do so hoot hoot suite is a leading social media management platform widely used by individuals so key features are this usage and advantages uh, unified dashboard that integrates all social media accounts in one place users can schedule posts manage content calendars and so on benefits real world applications where did it get this from buzzsumo is a leading content intelligence platform so you know uh, so perplexity has been able to do all this for us in good time and uh, this is a gora pulse i'm not very sure what this tool is but uh, but yeah it's done this and you know it also cites all the sources from where it's got you all this so that's pretty much it uh, so we've ended up building this uh, tool researcher so just to recap we are triggering this manually but you could also you know have a, a scheduled job running every once a day or whenever you want it and whatever research that you'd like your perplexity agent to do that it could be done through this ai agent if you like this and you're keen on more content of this sort uh, please feel free to join our accelerator community where we have uh, this and much more we have a lot of uh, wonderful tutorials available over here we do voice ai we do n8 and make and tons more so please feel free to hop into our community and join and it'll be nice to uh, also get a like and subscribe to this video if you like this.